Hi, Dave here from Warrant Gaming. Quick intro, if you want this Evercade cartridge, please subscribe to the podcast, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment on any video of, on our YouTube channel. Just say Evercade, this is the Interplay Collection 2, so you get Claymates, Earthworm Jim 2, Clay Fighter 2, Prehistoric Man, Rad Gravity, and the Brainings. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Thank you. On with the show. Hello, Andy. This is Colin. I won't be able to get in tonight. I'm sweating sure all big. I'm sweating sure all big. Hi, David here, One Up Gaming, episode 325 of the One Up Gaming podcast. So please visit our website, it's oneupgaming.co.uk. And as always, this week we are sponsored by Games Inspired Music, and this is an album you can download, you can stream. Um, yeah, and 20% of each sale will go to the Child's Play charity. So please buy that stream that helps them it's amazing uh what do i say uh i've been doing a bit of work been doing a bit of training i've been offered another job i don't know if i'm going to take it or not same money uh apart from the fact that it is an hour less traveling every single day and that could be the big clincher, to be honest. Just the fact of not having to travel that fast, saving a lot of money on fuel, petrol, and all that. But that's for another thing. You guys don't need to worry about that. Uh, so I guess we'll go straight into the games that I've been playing this week. And the first one, You Suck at Parking. And this game, I've played before, I've reviewed it on the website. It's a nice little game. It's one of these sort of like top down racer puzzle sort of games. So imagine Micro Machines and Micro Machines V3, I think it was on the PlayStation, where it was very simple 3D graphics, top down view. That's very similar to this sort of game. But with this one, you're not racing. It's all against the clock, and you have to try and get from the starting point round the little tiny. Sometimes it's just round the corner into a little bay and park into a little square, and you get points for how fast you do it, how stylish it is, and how well you are within the the parking box at the end. And that's how it starts, and then you have like multiple cars to get to the multiple points, and it looks nice. It plays nice. It's very twitch, sort of like very fast, which I love. And it's one of those sort of games where it is literally just, you do all this and, you know, it is just pick up and play. Oh, I'll have one more go, one more go. And by the time you realise you have like an hour later, I think, ooh, I better stop. But you suck at parking. We recommend it. It's a good little game. It's nice. Next up. Medieval Destiny. Now this game I'd never heard of. I just got it on the Xbox. I was playing it. And it, to me, is a very, very, very basic, cheap, not very good, sort of like Elder Scrolls sort of game. That sort of um, multi... Uh, it's just that the... I was going to say multiplayer, but it's not multiplayer, is it? Single player. Um, sort of like role playing game. There we go. Why can I not say role playing game? And it's graphics are a little bit basic. The effects are a little bit basic. The sound effects are a little bit basic. But overall, it's quite a grand sort of game. And I would never guess that the developers are like a two, three man team, really small, very 
um, European. That's the vibe I get, like Polish sort of thing. Don't know why. Generalisation there. But if you fancy something different, uh, give it a go. I didn't like it that much. Um, but yeah, that's Medieval Destiny. Next game that we played this week was Death Loop, and I don't know why, but whenever I heard all these things about Death Loop on the PS5 and PC, I believe it is also I can't remember now. But I would just assumed it was like a multiplayer focused sort of game. Very, hmm, I don't know. But I played it on the Xbox, and. It's very much a single player story focused game. I didn't think of that. I would just, everyone going on about how, oh, it's time travel, this time travel, that, and blah, blah, blah. And I was playing it and I think, do you know what? This is really good. Whereas I never had any intention of trying it. Because all the people in the reviews were just, I'm sure they're going on about like multiplayer focus and the single players more of the bot matches and. Uh, I might have just heard what I wanted to hear and just didn't give it a chance. But it's amazing. It is absolutely stunningly brilliant. Like it's all coming together today. Aw, not even close. Next game, the Tour de France 2022, and this one, does it need any explanation? It's the pedal bike racing game where you go from Paris to wherever. A lot of the times it cuts through certain towns and villages within England, and it's crap. It doesn't look very good. The gameplay is very monotonous. You tap buttons and you have to make sure you don't run out of stamina and all that kind of thing. So imagine in the old um, track and field sort of games on the PS1 where you actually are doing the 1500 metre race and you're just trying to get the right speed and try not to destroy your stamina gauge. That's this game but with a nice fancy graphical style. Um, I wasn't buying it, I didn't enjoy it, it wasn't very good. Next game, Into the Pit. Now this one, it looked amazing. It kind of has that sort of feel of the original Doom. Uh, a little bit pixelated, a little bit blocky. But with modern technology, fast, smooth. Everything goes at such a fair flick of knot, and it plays amazing. The guns are, are good; it feels good. So yeah, a first-person shooter into the pit. I would easily recommend. It's an amazing little game. yourself against the odious creatures and prepare your defences for the Eldritch Horde. 
rain hellfire upon every one of those despicable creatures so our town might flourish once more. Poison the foul beasts, freeze their limbs, bleed them dry, and curse their souls. For every spell gained and every demon slain will only lie you deeper down. Into the pit. The next game, The Good Life. Now this game, I just thought oh, I'll give it a go because it looks like a stupid, you know those like my first vet, so oh it's an horse racy village i need to do this over there it kind of had that feel to the cover of the game uh they started playing it and it seemed like a bit more oh i need to go to the house get into the house send an email take a picture email the picture go back out and do this 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 talk to this person so much more of a Animal Crossing style sort of game, but more of a story, in my opinion. And I was just playing it, not understanding exactly what was going on. And then all of a sudden, the night came in, I think, and all the fog came. You're trying to follow someone, and then all of a sudden, you couldn't see anyone. There was just people, there was just like, cats everywhere. And it turns out that there's a curse on the town, and people turn into the cats, and... It's a strange, strange game, but it drew me in. It bloody did. It was really like, oh, what the hell is going on? And then as I was Googling around and looking around, of course, of course, it turned out to be a, is it a sweary game? Um, so, yeah, he does a lot of crazy, psychedelic -y sort of games like Deadly Premonition. I've completely forgotten what it was, but the one on the Xbox that, that used the Connect that was supposed to be an uh, episodic sort of download and it only had one or two episodes. There's a woman in a cat outfit rubbing against you. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's much more traditional game, but it has that craziness into it. So I would recommend it. I'd recommend The, uh, the Good Life. It's a nice little game. None of your business. Legendary sheep. Hey, wait up! Oh. Activate turbo mode. Hey, no fair! Thou art recognized, hero. Uh, the last game that I played properly this week is called Echo Generation. And this one, it's a top-down uh, role-playing game as of sort. To me, it seemed to have taken a lot of inspiration from Stranger Things, a lot of the music, a lot of the sound effects, a lot of the characters um, and backgrounds. They all seem to be very similar in style and scope for Stranger Things. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this was going to be the official Stranger Things game and it got changed at the last minute. But I enjoyed it, I really did. I enjoyed, I just didn't like the, the fighting, uh, which was more of a turn-based sort of strategy game and I'm not a big fan of them. But oh, oh, everything else, the, the game was really nice. So we've just started our brand new series, it's going to go every Monday, and that's the Gran Turismo 7 series. We will still have the other series going through, so Star Trek Online, The Worst Games Ever, Ridge Racer 6, The Weekly Podcast, 
I'll put in some Evercade games every so often. And that is what we've been playing this week. So we'll go back, have a quick break, and I'll be back with this week's news. So back in a few seconds. So don't go anywhere, please. Like, subscribe, YouTube. We need as much help as we can get. Thank you. Back soon. Hi, still David, still Want Gaming, still the Want Gaming Podcast, episode 325. Yes, I'm amazed that we're still making these after this many years. Um, so I will just go through and we will do this week's news. So the news this week, we'll just start off. Overwatch's two mid-season patch is delayed. Uh, basically... The, it leaves me unplayable, and I don't know nothing about Overwatch, don't know anything about these characters. It's been delayed at the last minute, leaving original hero me unplayable. Uh, so the patch has been pushed back due to an unexplained critical issue that was discovered shortly before it went live. Today's patch is delayed by as we work to resolve the critical issue. Blizzard Preferred will provide an update here and set the patch live as soon as the problem is addressed. The patch will go live on November 17th uh, at 11am Pacific time. So me mains won't have to wait long. Me mains? I don't know. Me was removed from the game early this month due to a bug that allowed her to reach out of bounds locations using her while... Oh yeah. I love all this rubbish. Anyway... Overwatch 2, I don't know. I don't think I've ever played it. I don't know if I will play it or not. Um, what do you guys think? Would you like me to do a video of Overwatch 2? Watch me getting destroyed off little 10 year olds. You know, because that's all these sort of games are now. Anyway, Phil Spencer is confident in decision to, de de to delay Starfield. Uh, so basically saying that he's still confident that it was the best to delay the game uh, releasing the game too early is a mistake the company has made before and especially as Starfield is the first Bethesda game to release it as an Xbox exclusive he wanted the developers to feel supported by the new publisher we have experienced, we have experienced shipping games too early but in hindsight, when you look at games like Starfield, which has taken so long and so much investment for, in a new IP from the team, the decision um, to, uh, to give the time team time to build it, blah, blah, blah. So it's understandable. It really is understandable. You want your boss to give you time. You want things to actually do well. Um <clears throat> Do you know when you can start to feel that bit of a cold come in? And like, yeah, your nose is a bit gob. Go I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Twitter Blue, new release date announced following wave of impersonators. Impersonations? I have no idea anything about this. I don't use Twitter at all. Uh, Elon Musk has tweeted that Blue Verified will be relaunched on November 29th to make sure that it is rock solid. Twitter Blue is a system that will let anyone who pays $8 a month subscription to have a blue check mark on their Twitter account along with the host of the features. Uh, uh, disable for high profile positions. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really that bothered. I really don't know. I don't care. I don't really want to pay much money. But that's the thing. It's like it says Nintendo of America, but it's not. It's that's the the Twitter one is the at Nintendo fuss. Anyway, I don't know. People are just idiots. People are idiots. So eight dollars a month. I don't know. 
I don't know. Do you guys use Twitter? Uh, what's your Twitter? Leave it on the comments. Um, cause I don't have a clue what the hell any of this all means. So the next bit of news that I have, uh, Bioshock director says the movie will be really true to the game itself. Bioshock creator Ken Levine and Take Two Interactive are involved with the upcoming movie, which is apparently really true to the game. During an interview with Collider, Collider, I have no idea. Director Francis Lawrence explained how Netflix has given him free reign to tackle the movie as he sees fit. And that means work alongside the game's creator. Basically, me and Cameron McConaughey, who works with me, and Michael Green are getting to do what we want to do, which is great. A lot of it is staying true to the game itself, and we're talking to Take Two Interactive and Ken Levine. Richard came in 2007. Yeah, I gave it 9.7 out of 10. Hated when it's 0.7, it's quite 97%. Uh, but yeah, do you guys, are you as excited for a Bioshock movie? Because I, I enjoyed the setting, the, the world, the atmosphere. I really loved all that. So maybe that'll be really well looked into and. All that me gubbins. Ah, oh, my throat. <clears throat> anyway, Fable co creator says he ripped off Devil May Cry to create the Xbox RPG's world. The original Fable could have been entirely different for co creator Dan D. Dan Carter turned to an unlikely source of inspiration, Devil May Cry. When you're feeling lost, steal it, he said via Twitter. 100% rip it off from another game. Of course, Fable doesn't do that, at least not in the way you're thinking. The themes, ideas, and story of the 2004 RPG are entirely different from Devil May Cry, but the game's creator revealed that he's almost spiraled out of control until he turned to Team MC for it. I have no idea what the hell any of this means. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think that's just a, an absolutely nothing article that's just put there for let people like me read it and think, oh, and then when you get to it and start reading it, it's like, it's a nothing article. So the last bit of news that I have got is Rockstar apparently turned down an enemy. Enemy? Eminem led Grand Theft Auto film. Top Gun director Tony Scott was also reportedly attached to the project. But that's a lot of things that I've read in Hollywood, like random people to get attached for things when they don't have know about it. Rockstar Games apparently slammed the brakes on the idea of turning Grand Theft Auto into a movie starring en- em- Eminem. Well, I can't just put M M Eminem instead of like the word because I can't read. Um. Re- so thick, 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 thick. Games decided veteran Kirk Ewan, a friend of Rockstar co-founders Sam and Dan Hauser, told Bugsy Malone's Grand Grandest Game podcast per Eurogame. What the hell? That's just a load of words and letters put together. It's just random. An LA producer once approached him with a five million offer to buy the rights to the Grand Theft Auto movie starring Eminem with Top Gun helmet Tony Scott. In the director's chair, Ewan and Sam had allegedly discussed the possibility of a movie. Mm. Both declined the deal. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that bothered. I'm not a big fan of Grand Theft Auto. It's good. But, you know, when you just are like, meh, 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 meh. I don't know. So, so we'll do the UK top 40. So, number 40, Red Dead Redemption 2. Talking about GTA and that. Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Just Dance 2022. New Super Lucky's Tale. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Number 35, Luigi's Mansion 3. F1 22. 
Rayman Legends Definitive Edition, Mario Strikers Battle League Football, Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy The Definitive Edition. Number 30 is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Fortnite Anime Legends, uh, Cobra Kai 2 Dojo's Rising, Super Mario Odyssey, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Number 25 is Lego Harry Potter Collection, Tactics Ogre Reborn, Stray, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Lego Jurassic World. Number 20, Mario Party Superstars, Lego Star Wars, The, St- the Skywalker Saga, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Nickelodeon Kart Racers, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Number 15, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Gotham Knights, Mario plus Rabbit, Sparks of Hope, number 12, Grand Theft Auto 5, number 11, Football Manager 2023, I'm quite surprised at that, normally Football Manager goes massively in the UK, uh, and then the top 10, number 10, Minecraft, number 9, Animal Crossing New Horizons, number 8, Splatoon 3, number 7, Horizon Forbidden West, number 6, Nintendo Switch Sports, number 5, Marika 8 Deluxe, Number four, Sonic Frontiers. Number three, Sonic... No, number three, FIFA 23. Number two, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Need to review that game, please remind me. Number one, Gotta Go... Gotta Go? Gotta Go! Is that from some stupid Irish he working? Number one, God of War Ragnarok. And that is thanks to Games Press with their GFK Entertainment Software Chats, all formats. And that is that. Can we get back on here? Here we go. So, yeah, that is the One Up Gaming podcast. Please visit the website, oneupgaming.co.uk. Please go to our Patreon site, which is patreon.com slash O-U-G. And we can buy these lovely T-shirts on our website, just top right-hand corner, which is the online store. Different colours, different designs available. Um Game Spied Music, the album, is available now. Please buy it, please stream it, 20% of each. Uh, purchase and sale and stuff will go to the Charles Play Charity. We have our first 100 podcasts available on this lovely four cassette tape. It's a USB stick on a cassette tape. Uh, it's got all the graphics and art and stuff. And one pound of each sale will go to the Diabetes UK. And that, my friends, will do for the One Up Gaming Podcast, episode 325. Please use the Amazon links on the website. Just take you straight to Amazon. You buy what you want. It gives us a little tiny bit of money for advertising Amazon. Uh, go to our Facebook site. Just search One Up Gaming. Our YouTube channel. I think I've changed the whatever the little tiny one is now. It's like at OUGUK, if that's any easier to find. If not, just search One Up Gaming. It's this logo. Uh, we're on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash OUG Official. If you want to tweet us, it's at OUG Official, so send us any messages there. And if you want to email us, it's contact at oneupgaming.co.uk. Again, send us any messages, anything you want on there. And that, my friends, is episode 325, done, finished, finite. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Go baby, go baby, I love you, say I love you, never put nothing above you, won't let go once I can hug you on the floor, they hate because you let them know that you the ish, now they hate and I because you at the club and proving it, and so they choosing it too late cause now they using it, can't wait from how you doing it, I know that they pursuing it, you will kindly tell them now my baby's here to watch me go, and for him I put on a show, you just blessed to be here so. My baby goes, goes on, my body rolls on, I tell her, hold on, we can look with clothes, with clothes on, been on it so long, so long. I think we gotta, we gotta go, go. If my grown man gets, oh, you know that I love you, I so. love you.
party Say I love when you go for me I tell my baby go But she's not even going though This the trust I have in her Yeah, that's what you say to her Yeah, I'm feeling kinda slick I'm loving how I swim in it No, I'm not taming her The only one engraving it Sign and seal right from her list You need to know that she's my miss Treat her like a treasure though I never wanna let her go I keep her right in front of me My heart she will forever be I do this so she'll never see Life with me no misery You deserve the world my queen Yeah I'm back down on one knee A boy to a man that you have seen No matter who's wrong it's you and me I'm coming for you baby So we can stay happy I'm trying to work so hard For you and me Baby go now So bad, so she bad. can get it so, so sad bad. that she loves me no bad. bad. I'm a hubby so sad. sad. You looking so, so mad. mad. Oh, you didn't know you that. Didn't Next know. time you should check the right. ring. I know that one's a throwback. I know you see her flashing it, especially when she they gets it long. I'm rubbing on and grabbing it. I tell my girl, go, go ahead and go. go now. Thank you. We're trying to get everybody on to 